Hello and welcome. My name is Shannon Brown with Phenomenal Water. I'm thrilled you're here. You know, it's been over 10 years already that we came up with Phenomenal and it's been working miracles ever since. I was going to tell you that a lot of times when people hear Phenomenal for the first time, or like, you know, Phenomenal Water kind of fits in an alkaline water category, they kind of think of usually one of two things, like an alkaline water machine, like put it in that category, or they put it in like an alkaline water you'd buy from the health food store, you know, like a 9 or 10 pH alkaline water like that. And I just wanted to tell you right up front, it is neither one of those. Both of those, totally healthy, great, that's all fine, but Phenomenal is radically different. It's a totally different thing. Um, by the way, I've made, uh, I didn't want to talk about that here in this video, so I've made sub videos about, like for example, an alkaline water machine. If you have an alkaline water machine, that's great. And I can tell you how to boost it and make it so much more healthy. In fact, you can buzz around on an energy buzz using Phenomenal. So watch that, that sub video. If you're interested in phenomenal with like disease conditions like gout or diabetes or things like that, there's some clarification that needs to be there. So I made a, a video. If you're on the landing page of, of phenomenal right now, it should be down below. Uh, and then of course, if you're an athlete, I made a video about that because that's what phenomenal is for and it's awesome. But first, I wanted to cover like, why should you care? What will phenomenal do for you? And uh, it'll do a lot for you, but I think we need to clarify just a couple things. So over the years, I've come up with a couple metaphors, and they're really simple. And don't worry, there's no chemistry lessons involved. So the first one I call the goldfish, and the second one I call the swimming pool. So let's go with the goldfish. First off, if you had a bowl of water, and this bowl of water was perfectly clean, pure water, it would be a 7 pH. And the reason I say that is because I want to explain what pH is. I want to explain alkaline and acid and pH, and it's so simple, and you're going to get it just like that. So here you go. This is perfectly pure bowl of water, and it's, it, it's neutral, right? It's not acid and it's not alkaline. It's right in the middle, so it's 7. What that means is, is that every molecule in there, so a water molecule is a great big oxygen molecule. Oxygens have two places where molecules attach on, and of course they're hydrogens, right? So you have H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen. It's a perfectly balanced, most prevalent thing on the planet, water. So the water's perfect. Now, you take Mr. Goldfish, boop, you drop him in the pool, he starts swimming around in his little bowl, and his gills, of course, they breathe oxygen, right? So his gills will be slicing off and using the oxygens. So what are you left with? At first it was balanced, but now you're taking the oxygens out of the equation and you're left with more hydrogen. That's what's left over. So his water would become acidic over time. And it wouldn't take all that long. But what acidity means is there's more hydrogen in the water than oxygens. And so Mr. Goldfish, he would swim around and he would keep peeling off all the oxygens until he couldn't breathe anymore. Then he'd go up to the top to go get another breath of air. Now, of course, you could bubble air through the water, right? You would replenish those oxygens. So the oxygen molecules would find hydrogens, bind up and become water again. Or you could take like a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking soda, gently of course, we don't want to harm the goldfish, but <laughs> the idea is those are alkaline minerals and the water would become back up to neutral or even on the alkaline side, which means now there's more oxygens in the water than hydrogens. Does that make sense? So all so like if you hear, I'm going to live an alkaline lifestyle, what that means is you're going to live a lifestyle full of oxygen instead of the opposite, full of acidity. That's all it means. And so pH, pH stands for parts or percentage hydrogen. So when you're measuring a liquid and you're measuring its acidity, you're measuring hydrogen. It's very important. I'm going to tell you why, because it makes sense when I tell you about the swimming pool. So the swimming pool, like any good dad, I bought a pool for my kids, just a above ground pool, right? So like a good dad, you got to clean it you got to put chlorine in it and you got to pick up all the swimsuits and the dirty towels and everything else. But what I never knew is a swimming pool, to do maintenance on a pool, a swimming pool always becomes acidic. And so you have to check, check the pH of the pool, and then when it gets acidic, you dump a bunch of alkaline minerals in there and it brings it back up and so you go neutral. I don't know if you ever swam in a pool and it tastes a little bit sour, but that's the pool becoming acidic. So here's my point. A swimming pool is never just naturally gonna become alkaline. They always become acidic. Now you go, why? I don't know why. I don't know if it's the bugs or the dirt or what it is, but the fact is a pool always becomes acidic. Now here's my point. The human body is exactly the same way. Humans don't naturally just woohoo and we become alkaline. It never happens. What happens is we become acidic. So stress and food and everything else, they affect us 
our bodies are extremely good at getting rid of acidity and bringing in oxygen. And boy, we do it 24 hours a day. We're breathing all the time. And our body is designed to get rid of acidity. But if we get overwhelmed, our systems for dealing with acidity, and when I say acidity, what I'm truly talking about is too much hydrogen because there's this balance. So we, we tend to build up with hydrogen and our body has a hard time getting rid of it. And hydrogen or acidity is inflammation. So like you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, you know, and you're all puffy, that's inflammation. And what that really is, is whatever happened, whatever you did created too much acidity, your body has stored it in the water and it's waiting to either get rid of it or store it as fat. So that's, that's what happens. And in fact, I'm sorry, but for the rest of your life, that's, that's the gradual decline we're all on. In fact, that's one of the major reasons why we shrink with age is because our body will steal calcium from our very bones to neutralize acidity. In other words, the, the ranking of importance in our body says it is more important to have alkalinity or oxygen in the body than to have strong bones. That's a big deal. So if we're going to go down this little gradual path of always being acidic, what can you do about it? I mean, wouldn't it be kind of nice to help your body out? If you're gonna live an alkaline lifestyle, if you're gonna take care of yourself, that's a big deal. Stay alkaline, get rid of the acidity. So that's the beautiful part of a phenomenal because you can get rid of acidity like that and I can prove it and you can see it, it's just simple chemistry. So what is phenomenal? Phenomenal, uh, once again, years ago, we figured out um, that, so here's your big oxygen, water is two hydrogens, right? If you took one of the hydrogens and boop, got rid of it, like literally took it out of the equation, that would be half of the acidic side of water. So this molecule, so you big oxygen, one hydrogen, but this one's empty. So this molecule is called a hydroxide. And all that means is, is that it's missing a hydrogen. Now, if water is the most prevalent thing on the planet, then obviously it wants to get back to water. Nature, nature doesn't like a hydroxide because it's, it's going to fill that void. So it's looking for hydrogen. It's looking for acid. It's literally stripped of acid. So phenomenal water, of course, is a concentrate. So like one bottle makes eight gallons, um, but you take one ounce of that, you put it in 32 ounces of water. When you drink it, it's literally looking for hydrogen or acidity from your body. Now you ready for the best part? What happens when it finds it? It binds up, right? So here's your thing, here's the hydrogen. Boop, it finds a hydrogen, it fills it, but this turns back into water. That's it. There's no toxic byproduct at all. So in other words, your entire balance of acidity and alkalinity just went up because you took the acid part out of the equation and you got rid of it. How cool is that? Uh, I might as well just point out that when you look at the label of Phenomenal, you'll notice there's no ingredients on the label, unless it's a flavored version, which there's flavoring, but uh, there are no minerals for your body to deal with. In other words, it's raw hydroxide. That doesn't exist. There's nothing else like it on the market, and it's awesome, and it's incredibly powerful. If you want to equate it to like alkaline water machines or alkaline water in the stores, there is no comparing the two. But if you're interested in that, watch that other video. But anyway, that's Phenomenal. Phenomenal is incredible. Some of us are definitely more acidic than others, especially with disease conditions, stuff like that. It doesn't fix diseases, but if you've got something going on where you're too acidic and now you know you have the tool to be able to get rid of that, come on. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Try it. Go for it. So, thank you. That is phenomenal. Enjoy. Watch the rest of the videos. Click around the site. Ask us questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, live an alkaline lifestyle. Live a healthy lifestyle. Get the most you can out of life and feel great while you're here. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.